It's Power Back Time on the Gutsy Podcast. Each week we bring you five minutes of condensed inspiration to reclaim the courage and momentum you've given away. You've got big things to do, so let's get your power back. It is so easy to look at everyone around you, your friends, your fellow business owners, celebrities, musicians, the person next door, and look at all of them and think, well, crap, they are way ahead of me. They are winning. They are at the level of success that I wish that I was at. They have already done all these hard things. Look at them. It just it seems to come so naturally to, to them. And then you get caught up in the, well, I'll never get this right. I'll never be there. I wish I was there. I wish I had that. I should have done this. My timing is awful. My circumstances are stopping me. Like there's so many different ways and reasons to compare your level of success with somebody else's. But here are the facts. When someone else is killing it, that doesn't stop you from doing the same. Sure, you may be in a different chapter of life than they are, but that doesn't mean that you should toss everything that you've ever done into the fire and be like, screw it, I'm done, because somebody else did it before you. Do you know how many podcasts there are on the planet? Do you know how many branding studios there are in the globe? Like, if I stopped doing what I was doing because somebody else was doing it better than me, I wouldn't be having these conversations with you every week. And I want you to take that same perspective into who you are and what you're doing. Today, I want you to take your power back by calling, texting, or emailing a friend that you admire, that you have utmost respect for, that is just really nailing it, and I want you to congratulate them on their success. Instead of putting all your time and energy into, woe is me, they're doing better than me, that equates to me kind of sucking. Like, everything around me is just completely falling apart, and why even bother anymore? And now taking the power back by flipping that perspective by saying, you know what, they're killing it and that's really inspiring and that gives me the glimmer of hope sometimes in the darkest part of my day or part of my week and I look at them and think, you know what, they did it, so can I. By actively reaching out and actively exchanging words and energy, you are naturally raising your vibration level. You're putting out words of encouragement. You're putting out words of inspiration. You're putting out into the the vibes of the world saying, congratulations, you're winning. I see you. I hear you. I love what you're doing. You are inspiring me so much. And the universe responds to exacts. So when it's hearing those words out of your mouth, guess what it's going to send back to you versus sitting around and thinking and saying out loud, like, I suck and I'm not good at this anymore and I don't deserve this and why even try? Guess what? The universe is sending that back to You're going to be mind blown at the people that you admire that when you reach out and tell them how much you are inspiring them how humbled they are going to be. Because guess what? Just because they are succeeding, maybe on a different level than you are right now in this moment, doesn't make them any less human. They have the same thoughts. They have the same feelings. They're running their own set of obstacles. Sometimes they need a pick-me-up just as much as the next person. And when you reach out and you tell them how amazing they are and what they're doing is lifting your spirits, It may be the very thing that they need to hear in that moment to help get them through one of their own obstacles. A lot of times when I'm reaching out, I'm finding that they needed that little pick-me-up more than I even needed to reach out. Like, yeah, I thought that I was going to be doing some good by reaching out and I was going to help fill my tank, but in return, I'm filling their tank instead. Like, that's just pure magic. That That is respect. That is success that is celebration on a whole nother level. And I'm here to remind you too that you are currently doing something that somebody else is admiring too. Success is not a certain level. It's not a gold trophy. It's not, you know, when you're standing in the clouds or when you've received or achieved this one certain level. Success is very fluid and it means something different to everyone. So I promise you that you are currently doing something or trying to do something and someone else is watching going, gosh, I really admire them. They're really killing it. 
someone else's success does not stop you from achieving yours because you're already doing it. Love, you are already doing it and I applaud you for that. I'm here simply just to remind you today that you're already winning. You are already successful and you have every single thing that you need already built within you to achieve the level of success that you desire. Join me next week on the Gutsy Podcast as we talk about building authentic connections. Guys, I can't tell you how many times I get these canned messages on email or on LinkedIn or on my Instagram DM messages, and I can tell that people are just botting. They're just putting stuff out there in hopes that somebody catches it. Well, we're going to talk about building those meaningful connections so that you can actually start moving the needle in your connection success. If you want to listen to and check out previous episodes of the Gutsy Podcast, you can find those housed on thegutsypodcast.com. And I also encourage you to follow me along personally on Instagram and Facebook at that Laura Aura, where we're talking about topics, episodes, and more gutsy insight on just the real, raw, ridiculous shit that happens in this life. And until I see you next time, stay gutsy.